Hi, this is a short video on the research and evaluation framework that um, Ava and Jane and I developed in um, last week. So I want to go through sort of the three pieces and then some detail related to each of the piece. So the evaluation is um, kind of what Ava's leaving and then I'm going to be leading the research and Jane with Sylvia are working on the faculty formative assessment um, piece of the research and evaluation. So if we look at evaluation, um, Ava's the, identified the purposes is, ha, is monitoring our progress towards the goals stated in the grant, which is generally what evaluation does. But she's also interested in um, assessing the, the satisfaction of the participants, which means the team and those um, participating in the faculty groups and the leadership groups. So she's going to be interviewing them, as it says in the methods, um, and then there'll also be surveys. So we're gonna start all the evaluation in the summer and fall of next year. Um, and But we're, uh, we're developing all of the, um, the methods and instruments um, now. But those are the things that Ava's sort of taking care of related to evaluation. The interviews and surveys are also going to be available to use in the research. So they're gonna supplement the research activity. And then I'm going to be covering the um, research purpose, the research um, activity. And generally, the whole purpose of that is to assess the mental models of those in their community. So that's broadly assess the mental models, not just the people who are participating, but broadly through Cal State LA, um, um, Engineering, Computer Science and Technology, and thinking what are the mental models of education. So if you remember, we're, we're trying to adjust or move the mental models from factory to ecosystem. And the methods for doing that is um, I'm developing a survey right now um, and I can talk more about how that survey is developed at some later date and then we're also going to be analyzing artifacts so looking at the things that are kind of outward facing from the college and evaluate those in terms of how what are the metaphors used in those communications are they um, sorry about that are they um, factory metaphors or are they um, ecosystem metaphors and then the third area is we will be analyzing the reflections that are created as part of the faculty and leadership groups that are meeting. The third area is this faculty formative assessment. And the purpose of this is, is to provide feedback to faculty who are participating in the faculty groups and also to leadership who are participating in leadership groups related to action research experiments. So the methods or the ways that this feedback is gonna show up is there's gonna be peer evaluations or observations. So we're gonna go into the classrooms of those people participating and give um, feedback and evaluation about how that's going and there, there will be a protocol related to that and that's one of the things that'll be uh, that um, Jane and Sylvia are developing and then the second is the evaluation survey which again um, is also being developed um, by Jane and Sylvia and others potentially too um, also I'm imagining Nancy and Danielle we're going to be looking at this also because this is part of those um, those groups of faculty and leadership and how that's all working together. So that's also going to be sort of a, a more of a, a group looking at that. So if we look at this, um, the methods then are going to dictate what needs to be submitted for the IRB. And our goal for IRB submission is April 15th. Um, we're going to be submitting related to evaluation. There'll be interview protocols and scripts and surveys. There'll be um, the survey itself that I'm developing related to assessing mental models, the protocols for analyzing artifacts, and then the protocols for analyzing reflections. And then for the formative assessment of faculty, um, the peer evaluation observation protocols, and then also the evaluation, the student evaluation survey. So those are all the things we want to put into the packet that we're going to submit in April. The hope is to get that approved by July so that then we can administer it right at the beginning of the semester. So I hope that helps you look at what we're planning for um, research and evaluation and that it's, um, it's understanding of, of where it is we're going. Thanks.